The Colorado State men and New Mexico women lead the way in the team standings after day two of the 2017 Mountain West Indoor Track and Field Championships. Continuing Thursday's action in the men's heptathlon, Colorado State senior Josh Cogdell took home the title on Friday with a total of 5,546 points. Cogdale opened the competition this morning, crossing the finish line first in the 60 meter hurdles with a time of 8.14 seconds. Over the two day multi, he placed in the top two in five of the heptathlon seven events, winning the 60 meter hurdles, shot put, long jump and high jump. It's fun, um, you know, just being able to accomplish and finish whole heptathlon is fun in itself, but to come out on top feels pretty good. Air Force sophomore Walker Newell paced the field in the heptathlon pole vault today with a clearance of 15 feet 7 inches. His clearance was 8 inches higher than the second place finisher teammate Tyler Burson. The 1000 meter race was the final event of the men's heptathlon. Cogdill led the race early on, but teammate Nick Kravick would pull ahead over the final two laps for a 2 minute 44.68 second finish. I think we just feed off each other a lot, you know. Um, I mean, I've been in the program for a while and we had some really competitive athletes ahead of me, so I kind of learned off them and uh, Hunter and Craven came in and they're just phenomenal athletes. So, you know, we all work hard together and just kind of mold into one and it's good, a good program. Single event action also got underway in day two. In the men's long jump, Utah State sophomore Logan Frey Benoit earned his first career gold medal at the Mountain West Championships thanks to a 24 foot eight and a quarter inch leap. I didn't think I was going to become a champion this soon, you know, sophomore, but um, for me, I'm kind of that person where I get really hyped when I get a clap going. So when I get, did get that clap going, um, I just felt the adrenaline just flying through my body and then to finally like get up and look at the mark uh, when they were putting it up. Just super, super exciting. <laughs> Benoit also finished second in the men's high jump. He and third place finisher Sam Heingardner from the Air Force Academy each cleared six feet, 11 and a half inches. All eyes were on Colorado State's Hunter Price as the junior leaped over the bar at seven feet and a half inch to claim the gold medal. Yeah, I feel like I kind of thrive in those situations. I get real excited and sometimes I almost get like too excited and my emotions are running so high, but um, the adrenaline's great and yeah, just working on my technique, keeping composure and uh, yeah, making sure I'm hitting all the right steps and big takeoff. The Albuquerque Convention Center was roaring as the men's weight throw came to a close this afternoon. Air Force athletes went one, two and three in the event. The winning throw came from Falcon senior Malachi Sparling, whose 63 foot 10 and a quarter inch heave topped the field by more than three and a half feet. You get hyped up, but still stay concentrated, do what you need to do. Coach was right there, it was good. Every time I go, I go hip, hip, chin, step out, that's it. Fresno State claimed the top two spots in the women's weight throw as Bulldog sophomore Tiffany Gilmore claimed the individual title and teammate Asia Tuiasasopo the silver. Gilmore's heave of 65 feet 11 and a half inches came on her first throw of the finals and held up through the remaining rounds. Um, at first I didn't know I hit such a big mark so after I heard it after talking to my coach it pretty awesome so I got really happy <laughs> we weren't expecting that at all but it was great for the third year in a row a San Diego State athlete has taken home the crown in the women's pole vault sophomore Marissa Berry earned the title with a 13 foot nine and a quarter inch clearance I actually didn't feel anything when I was jumping it just felt like very fluent and everything was put in place and when I realized that I cleared it I got very excited Coach B says make it happen, so you gotta make it happen. So that's what I did for her. Ayana Gales from UNLV earned the Rebels' first ever women's long jump title thanks to a leap of 20 feet 3 inches. The senior was the only competitor to eclipse the 20 foot mark. Um, this is my last year. I have to go out with the bang, and it was just finally because this is my first time running indoors, so it's like finally. All glory be to God. To catch up on the track events from today's competition, make sure to log on to the MW.com and watch archived versions of every race. The 2017 Mountain West Men's and Women's Indoor Track and Field Championships will come to a close tomorrow, beginning with the women's shot put at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Make sure to keep it locked on the Mountain West Network for all of your live and on-demand coverage throughout the rest of the championship. From Albuquerque, New Mexico, I'm Stormy Bonantoni.